like to share to you about maritime injury lawyer Hassan. Hire a Hassan maritime injury lawyer at Cobos Law. At Cobos Law, our Hassan maritime injury lawyer is proud to help injured maritime workers seek compensation. Every occupation has its risk and the maritime industry is no different. In fact, seamen participate in one of the most hazardous industries in existence. Seamen are at risk for work-related injuries whenever they are on the boat. The courts recognize this. Moreover, our Hassan personal injury law firm works continuously to fight for injured seamen. Maritime law allows injured maritime workers the opportunity to claim necessary compensation for any suffering of work-related complications. Moreover, these laws are the basis for all injuries that seamen sustain. When you sustain an injury at sea, it is vital to work with a host and maritime attorney with a comprehensive understanding of these laws. If you have been injured in the maritime industry, contact our personal injury attorneys and let us fight for you. When should I hire a house and maritime attorney? Our maritime injury lawyers help injured dock workers and seamen attend the compensation they require to recover at our personal injury law firm. Typically, serious injuries lead to expensive medical treatment. Above all, these injuries can have a long-term impact on our life, mentally, emotionally, and financially. This can include an array of accidents that occur on navigable waters, including rivers, bays, oceans, harbors, and docks. Our house and maritime injury attorneys understand maritime law. We also know the best practices and culture of the maritime industry. Contact us for a free case evaluation and we can discuss your legal options. Maritime law and maritime injury cases. At Maritime Life, we also help an injured seaman recover from injuries sustained during work. Without these laws, injured seaman would be forced to act independently to contract any suffering sustained at work. Whenever a maritime worker becomes sick or injured, the owner of the vessel must reimburse their losses. Maritime attorneys reverse to this as maintenance and cure. Essentially, this means that the employer must provide for the aff affliction until the worker recovers fully. Courts view this obligation as a duty that the owner owes any worker aboard their vessel. Moreover, seamen are eligible to recover full wages for the length of the voyage during which they sustain the illness or injury. Oftentimes, their employment contract dictates the number of unearned wages they are eligible to receive. Death on the High Seas Act. Commercial maritime work is dangerous. Occasionally, the negligence or wrongful act of an employer or a CEO worker, co worker can result in a worker's death. Under the Death on the High Seas Act, D O H C A S C S A. If a loved one working on a commercial vessel died at least three nautical miles from from a U.S. shoreline, the spouse, parent, child, or another dependent relative may recover fair compensation for lost wages, funeral expenses, and costs for counseling. For a claim to be successful, a maritime attorney must prove negligence on the part of the ship owner or fellow worker. Even if the descendant may have contributed to his or her own loss of life, some compensation may still be warranted. When in need of a knowledgeable and experienced maritime injury lawyer, Hassan residents know they can trust Cobo's law firm to provide reliable strategic representation. 
Jobs Act, the Merchant Marine Act. If your place of employment is for a business on land, yeah, the use of some work related injuries, the workers' compensation laws for that particular state apply. That's simply not the case when you work as offshore. The Jones Act, also known as the Merchant Marine Act, is a federal statute in, in Act in 1920 which mainly regulates maritime commerce between the U.S. ports. However, a portion, a portion of the Act also enables maritime workers to file or for benefits from their employers for work-related injuries due to their negligence. This applies whether you are a captain or a maid, a deacon or a cook or a bar bartender. If you contribute at least 30% of your work time to the work of a vessel while on navigable waters and you sustain injuries, you can apply for benefits. This includes lost wages, medical expenses, as well as compensation for pain and suffering. In some instances, offshore workers may also be entitled to punitive damages if it can be proven that the employer demonstrated a willful and wanton deed. Regard for the safety of employees, a good John Sack lawyer can put together a strong suit and get you the compensation you deserve. Limitation Liability Act and your maritime injury lawyer. The Limitation Liability Act protects vessel owners from having to pay compensation for an injury or death that exceeds the value of their craft. This can be bad news for a maritime worker with a claim. Once a vessel owner files a limitation of liability suit, the proceedings for all claims are stayed. These they last until they consolidate their hearings into a single proceeding where those with competing claims may have to accept prorated settlements, additionally limitation liability suits, disallow jury trials. Fortunately, some personal injury suits are exempt. This includes suits for wages owed to seamen as well as maintenance and cure claims. If a limitation liability suit has been filed to counter your claim, you need a qualified maritime injury lawyer. Austin is home to one of the best firms in business, Cobos Law Firm. Moreover, we provide a free initial consultation to help you understand your rights. So that's all from me. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys understand. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, or if you don't want to do it, you, you can just do whatever you want. Thank you and bye-bye.